Today I'm talking about Boston weather from month to month. As you know, we have four distinct seasons in Boston and I'm gonna talk about how each season is and what the temperatures are like. This is Nune and Boston Area Homes. I'm a real estate agent in Boston. If you have any questions about real estate, please feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is in the description box below. So let's start with the winter. January and February are the coldest months. It usually gets pretty snowy and of course it depends on the year. Some years we get many snowstorms one after another, but other years we might get two or three snowstorms the most. I will include Celsius information because I understand that a lot of people are moving from other countries. So for the winter months, December average high temperature is 42, January 37 and February 38 degrees. Those are average temperatures. Sometimes the temperature can go lower than 10 Fahrenheit, but that type of frigid weather doesn't usually stay for a prolonged time. We keep ourselves warm and layered like an onion. Heavy duty winter jacket, warm winter waterproof boots, hats and gloves are a must during winter months. And chopsticks are also your best friend because your lips can give you a hard time. And an important note, Boston life doesn't stop when the snow falls. There are tons to do here, like ice skating on Boston Common Frog Pond, skiing areas next to Boston like Blue Hills and Neshoba Valley ski areas. MBTA commuter rail opens additional service to Wachusett Mountain Ski Resort during ski season. There are many concerts, theater productions, museums that are open and buzzing during winter months. March is still pretty cold and it feels like winter, but sometimes we get very hot weather and everybody starts wearing shorts and they think uh, the summer is coming and people who are not used to Boston weather, they think, okay, the weather is warming up. They put all their winter clothes away and then one week later, the winter is back. So after several years of experience, I realized that I need to keep my winter coats until at least May to make sure that I don't need it anymore because sometimes we get really cold days in April and May as well. In April it's 56 degrees and in May it's 66 degrees. In late April and May it's a beautiful weather, really enjoyable, really comfortable and most days are in high 60s and low 70s. Boston summers are usually beautiful. I love summers in Boston. This year we had several instances when it got to 90, 91 degrees and with high humidity, it was a dangerous weather condition. So when that happens, 91 degrees in other places like Las Vegas is uh, cool weather. <laughs> But on average, Boston summer weather is like in high 70s and low 80s. That's when it's beautiful, it's comfortable. Average June high temperature is 76 degrees. In July, it's 82 degrees. And in August, it's 80 degrees. July is the hottest month of the year. August is when we want to go to the beach. The ocean water temperature is much better than in June, let's say. Fall in New England is famous for being really beautiful, really colorful. The foliage is to die for. So uh, we go to Berkshires to do leaf peeping. <laughs> the temperature starts to cool down in the beginning of September. It's very warm. Uh, as it goes closer to October, it's the temperatures become the most comfortable, the most beautiful temperatures you can imagine. I love the fall in New England, it's beautiful. And then as we get closer 
closer to Halloween, the temperatures cooled down. And I remember every year on Halloween when we would take the kids out uh, for trick or treating, almost every year we had to wear a coat, a winter jacket over the costume or sometimes under the costume depending. And then in November, a lot of times it starts snowing. If it doesn't snow in November and it's unusually warm, we know we're gonna have a much calmer, shorter winter. But if it starts snowing like beginning of November, we know the winter is gonna be really, really long. And of course in the fall, we love to go apple picking. There are many farms and orchards that do apple picking. And uh, that's one of the best activities in the Boston area. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe. It really helps me and I appreciate it very much. Thank you for your subscriptions and for watching my videos. See you next week.